Draft Bit Tutorial for Beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use DraftBit. DraftBit is an incredible platform that allows you to build stunning mobile apps without writing a single line of code. In this tutorial, we will cover the basics of DraftBit, guiding you through the process of creating and customizing your own app using its intuitive interface and powerful features. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using DraftBit, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, look for the Get Started for Free button and click on it. This will trigger a pop-up window asking for your email address. Enter your email and click on the Get Started button to proceed. After entering your email, you'll need to create your account. Fill in your first and last name and choose a strong password for your account. Once you've done this, click on the Continue button and move forward. Next, you'll be required to verify your email address. Check your inbox for a confirmation email from DraftBit. Locate the email and click on the Verify Email button to verify your email address. Once your email is verified, you can personalize your account by following the on-screen prompts. These prompts will guide you through the process of setting up your preferences and customizing your DraftBit experience. Once you have personalized your DraftBit account, the next step is to choose a plan that suits your needs. DraftBit offers four different plans, basic, individual, team, and enterprise, each with its own set of features and pricing options. The basic plan is available at no cost, allowing you to start building your app for free. This plan provides access to all visual building features, built-in components, starter apps, and example screens. It's a great option if you're just getting started and want to explore the platform before upgrading. To choose the basic plan, simply click on the Start for Free button. The individual plan is priced at $79 per month and offers everything included in the basic plan, along with additional features. This plan is designed for individuals who need a comprehensive set of tools to design, build, and ship their app to the App Store. You can start a 14-day trial of the individual plan by clicking on the corresponding button. For teams looking to collaborate on multiple apps and have full access to the source code, the team plan is available at a cost of $249 per month. It includes all of the features of the individual plan as well as additional functionalities tailored to team workflows. Like the individual plan, the team plan also offers a 14-day trial period. The enterprise plan is the highest tier option, priced at $995 per month. It is specifically designed for organizations that require a collaborative environment for building apps together with their team or clients. The Enterprise Plan provides dedicated support from DraftBit's team and experts. For more information and pricing details on the Enterprise Plan, you will need to contact the sales team. For this tutorial, we will select the Basic Plan. To do so, we will click on the Start for Free button associated with this plan. Once you have selected your desired plan, you will be redirected to your account dashboard, where you can begin utilizing the features and functionalities offered by DraftBit. Upon logging into your DraftBit account, you will be taken to the dashboard, which serves as the central hub for managing your app development projects. The dashboard features a left navigation panel that provides quick access to various tabs and resources. The Dashboard tab gives you an overview of your resources, including any updates or announcements from DraftBit. It also provides access to video tutorials and example screen apps, which can be helpful for inspiration and learning. Under the Workspaces tab, you can view all the apps you have created. If you want to start a new project, simply click on the Create Project button located in this section. This is where you can manage and organize your different app development projects within DraftBit. In the Starter Apps tab, you will find a collection of pre-built starter apps. These serve as templates or starting points for your own app development journey. Examples of starter apps include Eventual, Fast Food, One Call, and more. Exploring these starter apps can give you ideas and insights into different app functionalities. The Example Screens tab showcases a range of example screens from various apps. These screens can provide design inspiration and demonstrate how different features and layouts can be implemented effectively. Under the Account tab, you can modify your account settings and preferences. This is where you can update personal information, change your password, or adjust notification settings according to your preferences. The Your Workspaces tab displays all the personal workspaces you have created within DraftBit. This allows for easy access and management of your individual projects and app development endeavors. Lastly, the Help and Resources tab provides access to a variety of helpful materials. Here you can find information on what's new in DraftBit. 
access the community for support and collaboration, explore the option to hire an expert for assistance, and access documentation and videos for further guidance. Now, let's see how to create a new project in DraftBit. When it comes to building an app in DraftBit, there are two main approaches you can take, building from scratch or utilizing a template. To build an app from scratch, start by navigating to the left panel of the DraftBit dashboard. Locate and click on the Workspaces tab. This will take you to a page where you can view the apps you have already created. If you haven't created any apps yet, this section will be empty. To create a new app from scratch, click on the Create Project button. After clicking on the Create Project button, a pop-up window will appear, prompting you to enter your app's name and description. Fill in these details and click on the Next button to proceed. On the next page, you will be asked to provide more information about your app through drop-down menus and questions. Answer these prompts accordingly and click on Next when you're finished. Next, you will have the option to select the blank template, indicating that you want to start with a blank canvas for your app. Choose this option and click on Next to proceed. Before entering the app editor, you'll be prompted to select an app icon from the given options. Choose the icon that best represents your app and click on the I'm ready button to proceed. At this point, DraftBit will process your request, and it may take a moment to load the app editor. Once the editor is loaded, you will have a blank canvas to start building your app from scratch. Here you can utilize DraftBit's visual building features, drag and drop components, and customize the design and functionality of your app according to your requirements. If you prefer to build an app by customizing a pre-built template in DraftBit, you can follow these steps. Start by navigating to the left panel of the DraftBit dashboard and click on the Starter Apps tab. Once you click on this tab, you will be presented with a selection of available templates. To use a template, simply click on the desired template that you want to work with. For example, let's say you choose the second template, Fast Food. Upon clicking on the template, a pop-up window will appear. In this window, enter the name of your app in the App Name category and choose the workspace where you want to keep this app. Once you have filled in these details, click on the Copy This App button. It may take a moment for the app to be copied. After the copying process is complete, go back to the left panel and click on the Workspaces tab. You will now see that the template that you've selected has been copied and is available for use in your workspaces. To begin customizing and transforming this template into your desired app, simply click on it. Clicking on the template will direct you to the app editor where you can make changes, customize the design, and modify the functionality of the template to suit your specific requirements. The editor provides a range of tools and features that allow you to visually build and personalize the app according to your preferences. Once you enter the editor in DraftBit, you will notice that the interface is divided into three main sections, the left panel, the central area, and the right panel. The left panel is where you can navigate between the screens of the template you have chosen. It provides an overview of the different screens available within the template. Additionally, beneath each screen, you will find a collection of components that can be added to your app. These components serve as building blocks for creating the desired functionality and visual elements in your app. The central area is the main workspace where your screens appear. When you click on any of the screens from the left panel, it will be displayed in the central area. This is where you can easily customize the selected screen by adding, rearranging, or modifying components, adjusting layouts, and implementing desired features. The central area provides a visual representation of how your app will appear to users. The right panel complements the customization process by offering additional tools and options. When you click on any content within the screen displayed in the central area, the right panel will display context-specific tools and options related to that particular component or element. Here, you can further customize and fine-tune the appearance, behavior, and properties of individual components, such as adjusting colors, text styles, or interaction behaviors. To customize the content of the screens and the template, you have the flexibility to make changes according to your preferences. Begin by selecting the specific screen you wish to customize from the left panel. For example, let's choose the Profile screen. By clicking on it, the screen will appear in the central area, allowing you to make modifications. For instance, let's say you want to change the name of the person displayed on the profile, which is currently set as Tenzin Owen. Double-click on the name and the right panel will provide you with options to modify it. Locate the Input Text field in the right panel and replace the existing name with your own. Similarly, you can also change the profile picture. Double-click on the profile picture and the right panel will present you with options for customization. Navigate to the Setup section within the right panel and click on the field next to Source. This will prompt a window where you can upload an image from your computer to replace the existing profile picture. You can follow a similar method to customize other screens and content within the template, allowing you to transform it into the desired app that suits your needs and vision. 
Once you have completed customizing your app, the next step is to publish it. To do so, navigate to the top right corner of the screen and click on the Set Project Live button. This will make your project live and accessible. However, please note that to publish an app, you must upgrade to one of the paid plans we discussed at the beginning, as the free plan does not offer publishing capabilities. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using DraftBit. You can sign up using the first link in the description. I appreciate that. Thank you. We hope you found this video helpful in understanding the power and ease of building mobile apps with DraftBit's no-code platform. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can.